Hi guys, welcome back to Estella Plans. I am planning Mother's Day week, May 8th through the 14th. I have a bit of random stuff. This is a kit that I printed a long time ago um, at home, so hopefully it pulls out. I don't really know because it's really old. Um, and it is for a happy planner, but we are planning in our here in Condren today and I'm just gonna go with the flow some extras that I had I have all of these boxes so I kept those and then I did have some what do you call it, these checklists and dates so I am just going to kind of play and see what we come up with I am gonna work from the top down or bottom up because I don't think it's gonna fit exactly as normal because it is a happy planner ones so we're gonna have to see about that I'm trying to figure out do I want to put um, some date headers or leave them black let's see this is pink though we can do that pink out of the black. Let's we'll see what else. Don't want to do those. Okay, let's try the pink and see if those work. So we have some old stickers. So we're going to use these and we're going to start with the eighth. And where these stickers came from, I don't know. Plan with Belinda. We're on a Monday, the 8th. All right. We got the 9th, just Tuesday. We got Wednesday. Friday, Saturday, and then the 4th is Mother's Day. Are you guys doing something for Mother's Day? I currently have no plans, so I have to figure out that, but okay, let's see if we can get them in our planner without having to white out anything. So we're starting with Monday. Um, if I have to white out something, I'm okay with that, but it's always nice if it covers straight up. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I think we're gonna go with the to-do headers next.
pink. I like that. And then I want to do these next, but I think they're too long. Let's see. Okay, I like that. <sighs> Let's make the rest of these work. Not sure if there's an easier way. So by picking this kit, I was really going for all the girly girly feels. I wanted it to feel like Mother's Day. And since most people get flowers for Mother's Day, I thought this floral kit would work really, really well. I love all the pastels in there. And I am just having a ball putting all the florals down because prior to to maybe recently I haven't been a huge floral person I do have some florals in my stash but not a lot but I really really love the mixture of florals and pastels here So once I put this last checklist box here, I realized it was like perfect because this kit only came with one strip of the washi and it was a thin washi. And with everything being pushed down a little bit bigger because they're happy planner boxes, it worked out great that I didn't have to find any additional washi to add in. So I just used the washi that came with the kit and I love it.
The last thing I had to do to finish off this week's spread was the sidebar. And basically, I'm just going to go through and use the extra stickers that I had with this kit. I was short one sticker. And I had to go in my boxes and pull out a green one. It wasn't an exact match, but it worked. And you're going to see that in a minute. Okay, let's see how Mother's Day turned out. A highly functional piece together kit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is definitely like old school, old school. Absolutely love this about planning and this planner. It's just a little simpler. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.